Football is so big, even the most powerful people in the world watch it and even have clubs that they love so much. And well, that's what we're here to look at today. These are famous politicians and their favorite clubs. Let's start with the supreme leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. The 39-year-old dictator might look like he doesn't have time for sports, but he actually loves football and has said before that he's a huge fan of Premier League club Manchester United. He's such a fan that he reportedly asked the state TV to broadcast Man United games in 2014. Meanwhile, Vladimir Putin keeps his love in-house. His favorite club is Zenit St. Petersburg, and it's absolutely no secret. You would have expected the president to probably support the club of the capital, which in Russia's case would be Spartak Moscow or CSKA Moscow. But then Putin was born in St. Petersburg, so his love for Zenit is actually not very surprising. As for Donald Trump, he doesn't really watch football, but according to him, he's friends with the owners of Man United, so naturally he leans towards the Premier League giants. In an interview he did with the former US president, Piers Morgan tried to force Arsenal down Trump's throat. He had a jersey ready with Trump's name and the number 45, you know, 45th president of the United States. But that wasn't enough to make Trump switch allegiances to the London club. But the man who Trump succeeded seems to support a London club. Barack Obama was once live in London to watch a West Ham game with his sister. I mean, that's enough show of support from a world leader, isn't it? Anyway, we naturally expect the English politicians to be more vocal with their support for football clubs because, you know, England is the home of football. And, well, they are. The Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Rishi Sunak, supports Southampton. And it makes sense because he was born and raised in the city. He's probably now wishing he could use his power as Prime Minister to instantly reinstate the Saints back into the Premier League. Of course, he can't, but there is a world leader who once used his power to help his favourite club. Keep watching to find out who it is. Meanwhile, former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson appears to not be so into his football. Back when he was the Mayor of London, he was asked what his favourite club was, and he gave a very political answer, saying all London clubs. We're pretty sure that he couldn't even name all of the London clubs in the Premier League alone. And well, it all checks out when you find out that Boris Johnson was actually born in the US. He probably has a favorite baseball club or something. Now, we know the late Queen Elizabeth II was not exactly a politician, but come on, you know we just had to throw her in there. She was a West Ham fan. For a long time, she tried to stay neutral, but she eventually revealed where her allegiance is laid. Meanwhile, her grandson, Prince William, has never hidden his love for Aston Villa. He has loved the club out loud for years years now and has often been in the stadium to watch games. He must be the happiest person in the world looking at what Unai Emery is currently doing at the Birmingham club. And you know what this tells us? Not everybody ends up supporting the club of the city they were born in. Because with all the clubs in the London where he was born, Prince William ended up supporting a Birmingham club. And it's the same theme with former UK Prime Minister Liz Truss. Despite having been born in Oxford and grown up in Leeds, she happens to support Norwich City. But it's not so strange because she moved to Norfolk at some point and that was when she switched allegiances. She also seems to have a lot of admiration for the club's owner, Delia Smith. But enough of England already. France's president, Emmanuel Macron, has proven to be a true football lover. We've seen him at a few football matches, particularly the the 2018 and 2022 World Cup finals where he showed a lot of emotion while, obviously, cheering France on. But the national team aside, does Macron have a favourite football club? He sure does. And no, it's not the club of the capital. The president actually supports their rivals, Marseille. Many people even said that he used his power to help his favourite club by cutting short the Liga 1 in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. At the time, Marseille say were in second place. So, ending the league at that point meant free passage into the Champions League for the club. I mean, there's got to be some benefits to 
having the president as a fan of your club, right? Over in Germany, however, we have former Chancellor Angela Merkel, who is a big football fan. She was famously in the stands at Wembley when Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich locked horns in the 2013 Champions League final. But she actually supports neither of those clubs. What club does Merkel support then? One which competes in the fourth tier of German football, Energy Cottbus. She is even an honorary member of the club. We've now seen some really powerful politicians and the clubs that they support, but here's a bonus entry. Pope Francis also watches football and he's a big supporter of the Argentine side San Lorenzo. He was born in Buenos Aires, so it makes sense that he'd be supporting the club of the city. So, which famous person supports your club? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.